Welcome back to the 24-7 Sports live stream. I'm Steve Wiltfong, and that's who you came here to see. Four-star running back Dylan Edwards out of Derby High in the state of Kansas. You're here to announce your college decision. Congrats, Dylan. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Doing well, man. Doing well. You're a prospect that's been on the radar for years now, uh, ready to uh, announce your final college decision. What were you looking for in a school? Uh, just just tradition and where I could uh, see myself ball, balling on a big platform. Absolutely. Well, you narrowed it down to Kansas State, a program you were once committed to, but reopened the process. You got Oregon in there and you have Notre Dame. What stood out about these three programs? Uh, just the relationships I built with each three uh, schools. Um, of course, I was committed to Kansas State, but um, I, I decommitted. Um, sadly, I have nothing but love for them, but um, Oregon, I had a great relationship with Coach Locke, and um, he texted me every day and just kept contact and uh, wanted me to come visit all the time. So he was a great guy. And Notre Dame, just Coach Dillon and um, Coach Freeman and Coach Rees, I mean, they have a great plan for me there. So who knows? Gatorade Player of the Year in the state of Kansas this past year. You rushed for 2,603 yards, 38 touchdowns. You had over 3,000 all-purpose yards. 40 total scores. Love seeing that 12 and a half yards per carry. Talk about your game and what you're going to be bringing to the next level. Yeah, just bringing my speed and uh, playmaking ability. Um, just being an all-purpose back is really what I want to do in college, and I feel like I can do it at this place I'm coming to today. Yeah, and what are your speed times? What are those numbers you're proud of? Um, four three five at the Future 50 camp. Um, that was my fastest time I ever ran on laser, so... I'm just, I'm just keep working on my speed and hopefully I get faster when I go to the next level. One of the fastest players in the country. He can run between the tackles. You can get him on the perimeter. You can throw him the football. You can put him in the return game. All three of these programs recruited you to do just that. The floor is yours to tell everybody where you will be playing your college football. Yes. Uh, through this week, it's been a lot of trials and tribulations. Um, I've gotten... A lot of, you know, bad calls and bad texts, but I try to look past that and um, lean on my family and, you know, pray to God that I'm making the right decision. Um, this is where I want to be. And um, for the next three or four years, I'll be committing to the University of Notre Dame. Go Irish. Irish. Go Irish. Even Notre the dog Dame, is fired up there. Dylan, congratulations. <laughs> Yes, it did. Introduce your yes, parents and talk about the impact that they've had on you. Yeah, my parents have had a great impact on me with this decision. Um, when we decided to visit uh, Notre Dame, it was a great process. Um, I had been committed to Kansas State for over a month. And, um, I mean, it just happened. Coach Dillon told me to come visit and I loved it. I loved everything about it, and um, I'm going to be getting great education at um, Notre Dame, and that's what I want to do. I can hear over 80,000 fans inside Notre Dame Stadium yelling, run, Dylan, run. Uh, maybe that <laughs> shirt goes viral there uh, that dad's yeah. wearing. What stood out about Notre Dame beyond Coach Dillon? When did you fall in love with the program? And, and just talk about all your favorite things about the school. Yeah, with the old staff, I actually went there last summer, and I loved it. Um, they, unfortunately, they didn't uh, extend me an offer, so um, I just waited out my turn and just um, it just passed by. But uh, Coach Dillon, um, he offered me at Indiana, and he always said he was coming for me when he went somewhere even bigger. So he went to Notre Dame, and uh, we were just talking all through that time, and he, he said it was time for me to come visit and again, and they extended me an offer. I came there the next day, and here we are now. How do you see yourself being utilized with that gold helmet on? Oh, I think Notre Dame, I feel like, hasn't had the speed on their team that I have. Um, I could bring a whole new level of, you know, playmaking, play, just making plays, really. I think I could do that uh, when I go to the South Bend. So I can't wait to get it rocking. Notre Dame, they've been to two college football playoffs over the last five years, a couple more New Year's Six Bowls. They're a program that's right on the cusp, and you're joining a class that's ranked number one in the country. Just talk about the future trajectory uh, under Marcus Freeman and this new staff and what you and uh, your future teammates are bringing in. 
Yeah, I think I had a lot of uh, good relationships with the players that I actually committed to Notre Dame. Um, you saw Jay Nosberry just committed yesterday, and I, I had a cool relationship with him. We, you know, we were at the camp together. And um, really, um, it's not, you know, they're not in a conference, so it's not all about conference. It's about winning the national championship, and I think under Freeman we can do that. And do you know what you're going to study up there? Yes, business, and I'm going to minor in mass communications. Awesome. Well, congrats again on your commitment to Notre Dame. 435 speed just being added to the number one recruiting class in the country. Notre Dame lands four-star running back uh, out of Derby, Kansas, man. Congratulations, Dylan. Take care. Thanks for doing it on 24-7 Sports. I appreciate awesome. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Run, Dylan, run. <laughs> Commit number 23 for Notre Dame, Dylan Edwards adds to the number one class in the country. And with that, let's bring in Irish 247 insider Tom Loy, who's inside the Goog in South Bend right now. Tom, break down this commitment for the Irish. Yeah, this is a big one, man. Obviously wasted no time. He, he picked up the offer, immediately made it on campus and committed before leaving. Um, huge win for Dylan McCullough, Tommy Reese, Marcus Freeman. Um, Edwards is a guy that visited last year, didn't have the offer yet, but as soon as he picked it up, the Kansas State commitment made his decision that he wanted to be at Notre Dame and he, and he made the flip. So it's pretty, pretty quick move. But overall, I really do like this pickup for, for Notre Dame. This is a kid with electric speed. I know we've talked about this before, Steve, but this is exactly what Notre Dame needs. And he is a uh, he's a burner. Um, everybody knows Zachariah Branch, Peyton Bowen. Those guys are really fast. But this is a guy who beat them in a foot race uh, at the future 50. So uh, shout out to that kid for having the speed that Notre Dame fans are going to you know love and covet. So but overall, I mean, this is a kid that picked up over 20. 600 rushing yards last year over uh, I think it was close to 40 scores um, he's an alpha he's a, he's a dude if you will um, super confident thinks he's the best player on the field at all times and backs it up typically so um, but overall he's got elite burst great feet breakaway speed uh, great balance he avoids the big hit um, just just big fan of this kid I think he's going to do great things at the next level yeah he I say this every once in a while about a prospect but he's a young man that Obviously not this fall, but next fall in his first game in a, a fighting Irish uniform could bring, run back the opening kickoff for a touchdown. He's that dynamic, four three five speed uh, in, in the 40-yard dash, used it to rack up over 4,000 rushing yards over the last two seasons and, and, and 63 touchdowns. Obviously can be utilized in a variety of ways from return to slot to in the backfield. He's going to be paired up with Jaden Lamar, who's also committed to Notre Dame from Washington State. How do you like those two together? I really, I think it's a great pairing. And I know that they're, they're really not done. They're trying to add Jeremiah Love, as you know, uh, as a third back, but also a guy that can play receiver. Um, but that's what I think I like most about all of these guys that McCullough is recruiting. Um, they're do it all kind of guys. These are not guys that are just going to be, you know, carrying the ball 20 times, can't really do much out of the backfield. Um, you can line any of these guys up, whether it's Lamar, Edwards, or Love in the slot. They can li line up out, you know, out wide in the backfield. They really are do-it-all kind of guys, and that's exactly what McCullough is looking for. So I like the fact that the, they have two guys already cemented, but this, uh, this group at running back would sure take a big leap forward and receiver if they can get Jeremiah Love. Yeah, it seems like they've added a lot of dynamic guys in this class when you look at uh, Braylon James and some of the wideouts, Rico Flores uh, also in the fold. A lot of speed coming to South Bend, Tom. I appreciate you coming on. Big pickup for Notre Dame. This is the third commitment of the weekend uh, as Dylan Edwards joins Jaden Osbury, who popped on Thursday, Ben Minnick on Friday, Dylan Edwards today. Who do you have forecasted down the road for ND, Tommy? You know, you and I put in a crystal ball pick earlier this week for Peter Jones, a class of 2024 four-star offensive lineman. I know we both feel good about Notre Dame. He's probably the best bet to, to eventually land in Notre Dame's class. So keep an eye on that one. And then obviously we got to figure out what they're going to do at quarterback. That's been the missing piece. So uh, if they can, you know, do something there, they'd like to get that done before the season starts. If not, they're going to go into the fall. But like I said, Peter Jones is probably the next guy to watch um, for your next commitment. Regarding quarterback, I'm good with Notre Dame waiting and waiting into the fall now at this point. Right. Monitoring senior film. Certainly, if you could flip a Kenny Minchie early, that's exciting. He's he's a he'd be a no-brainer guy that if he wants to come right now, you say, Hell yeah, we'll take you, Kenny Minchie. But 
uh, they, there could be a kid that has a great senior year uh, that rises up the board. And, and you're Notre Dame, man. You can come in and get that special out and flip somebody if you have the kind of year that they're uh, planning to have. But uh, this, Dylan Edwards in the fold, we know that's for sure. And uh, Notre Dame adding some serious speed to the number one class in the country in 2023. They have the number one class in 2024. So Marcus Freeman and the Irish continue to roll. And for more on this commitment to Notre Dame, head over to Irish 247 and 247 Sports. Thanks for tuning in.